what is up? Welcome back to April Album A Day. We are on number 24. Um, we're winding it down. Uh, I actually was not planning to do a video today because I'm going out of town shortly to uh, a concert that I will update you about when I get back and kind of do a video on my thoughts on the band, maybe. Um, I've listened to all their albums this week, so that was pretty fun. Um, I will say the album today was very good. Um, you already know what it is. You can see that you can see right there. You see it right there. It is Frank by Amy Winehouse. Uh, this is a debut album, 2003. Uh, I thought I knew what it would be like, I guess, because I've heard songs by Amy Winehouse with my mom before. Uh, my mom really liked Amy Winehouse, so I thought I kind of knew a general idea of what she sounded like. Well, I didn't really know that it was so uh, jazzy. Like, I didn't really know that she was a jazz fusion artist. Like, it's kind of jazz and R&B fused together a little bit. Um, the production will be either kind of more acoustic jazz on some songs, and then on others, it's kind of like jazz elements with hip hop or R&B production style. It's really interesting. Like I really didn't know that it would be like that. I haven't heard this album before. I've only heard, I think one of her famous songs and it was probably off of Back to Black. I think it was just Rehab my mom really liked. Um, so I haven't heard Frank before. And this is my first time listening to it. I was blown away. I mean, it was, it was really good. Um, I'm just surprised that I'd never heard this before. Uh, I'm really glad someone recommended it because it's a little different. And you know I love my jazz fusions, right? Like I love the jazz fusions uh, of different genres of pop, R&B, uh, rock. So the first, I'm gonna say a few words that I thought of when I was describing this album, not just one. Savage, beautiful, Adorable. So there's a few, <laughs> probably confusing, right? Um, a lot of the songs are about infidelity, partners being uh, not good enough, etc. And there's a few love songs in there that are very beautiful um, and really heartfelt. And her voice is very beautiful. That's the unique thing about the album is her voice is very beautiful, can sing ballads, but also can kind of break down and follow an R&B style beat um, rather than just singing one note over and over. So it's kind of impressive. Like she kind of varies with her vocals. Like it's not just very linear. It's just like she can sometimes change up the flow of how the song goes completely. Um, and the love songs are very, very sweet. I will say most of the album is about um, bad partners, uh, infidelity, cheating, etc. A lot of it, yeah, now that I'm, when you look at the track list, you can kind of tell. I really did like the bonus tracks though, which are uh, Brother and Mr. Magic. So those were really good. I actually really enjoyed the way those were. They were kind of more relaxed compared to the stuff before, but um, Moody Moods for Love was very good. I thought it was very sweet. Um, and there's kind of like some unique songs that I guess kind of switch up her style. Uh, I'm not gonna say the word because monetization in the future, you know. Uh, F me pumps. So that one's very unique. I I kind of laughed a little bit when I heard it because just the concept of the song is just so funny in itself. Um, <laughs> it's just really funny. I mean, she, she has fun with it. Like you can tell she has a lot of fun making quirky songs like she's kind of a quirky vocal artist as well like kind of just switches it up like sometimes it's just this beautiful love song and she's like singing her heart out and then sometimes she's kind of talking about you know some girl she hates that is going around with her man so you know it's it can be savage and it can be sweet salty and sweet i guess um sweet and sour even but i really liked it i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten it was very good. Uh, I love 
the early 2000s R&B. We actually, I brought up this album at work the other day and we had a debate uh, over what was kind of, I guess, defining artists of the early 2000s R&B scene and just going back and forth about Amy Winehouse and et cetera. Um, after listening to this, I can confidently say that she is a powerhouse in that in that area. So I'll probably listen to her other albums as well. Uh, I do know Back to Black, so I haven't listened to the whole thing since I was a kid, probably. I've only heard like one song. Now thinking about it, probably listening to the song Rehab when I was like eight or whatever, probably wasn't the best thing. And I also didn't know what I was talking about. Kind of like most songs when you're young, you have no idea what you're saying. So it was just a good, that, I did know that it was a very good beat, instrumental beat. Uh, and her singing ability was awesome. So that's what kind of drew me in even all those years ago. So nine out of 10, uh, I loved this recommendation. Glad I got to do the video of the day, surprise. And without further ado, we will see you next time.